Okay, so as you can see, it's about the same. Uh, microscope model is newer. I mean, it's the same model. Olympus just came out with a, a newer model. Okay. So this is a, a microscope. It's a standard upright microscope uh, from Olympus. Okay. Uh, top part is a spectrometer, and um, it's up, up here. No, this one. That's the CCD. So oh, okay, okay, this okay. entire unit is a spectrometer. Oh, okay. Okay. And it has a three lasers inside. Um, you can start with one laser. It can have up to three lasers. Okay. It has a four gradings: uh, 600, 1200, 1800, and 2400 for 532. Yeah. So you can uh, optimize your spectral resolution and or save some time if you are just doing the quick survey. CCD is obviously CCD, so you can have, this is a regular CCD, you can have an EM CCD as an option. And what's, what's the difference? Uh, EM CCD the EM? is uh, electro, uh, it's an enhancement. So, oh, okay. uh, especially when you have a very low signal to noise ratio, so for example, like in a really, really short exposure uh -huh. time, uh -huh. EM CCD can enhance it. I see, so, okay. so more sensitive. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, there is a uh, there is a uh, flip side when the uh, photon throughput is high. Mm -hmm. Actually, they become about the same. So it's only useful okay. when you have a very low photon okay. throughput. Upside, so upside, you can turn on and off. You can turn EM gain on or off. So if EM gain is off, it behaves as if the same uh, as if the regular CCD. Okay. And then when you really need, you can turn the on. EM gain on. Okay. Cool. Downside. You know, so why not just EMCC all the time? Mm -hmm. Price. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, uh, so that's the regular CCD. Uh, stage is a motorized stage, and mm -hmm. this one is a smaller, and I think it's actually better for the microscope, uh, uh, microplastics. Um, it's a uh, bigger stage, so it's, uh, it, it travels further. So this one is a 75 millimeter to the left to right, and 75 and 50, so uh, 50 millimeter um, the uh, front and back. Uh -huh. That one is a 130 by 85. Okay. Uh, so this is a finer scale, basically, is what we're same. talking about. Same. Uh, stage precision is the same. It's a travel oh, okay. distance oh, okay. and physical, uh, uh, physical size. Okay. So this is our standard. This is a uh, bigger stage. Okay. Um, Laser. This is laser on off. Um, the when you turn on the uh, when you power the laser up, all three laser is controlled by this one. But um, you can select whichever laser from the software, and change between uh, switch between lasers is obviously automated. Okay. And um, all the like you know, light paths to block the laser, pass the laser, etc., etc., are automated. Now having the enclosure is because of the uh, interlock. So that even if you uh, laser was on, when you open the door, laser is uh, So you blocked. don't need eye protection. Exactly. So this system with enclosure is class one. Okay. Laser is powerful. Uh, lasers are powerful, but with uh, with the enclosure and all the safety feature, feature, this system as a whole is a class one. So you never operate it open. It's always no. operated close, seal, yeah. uh, uh, so that so, no, no light, no laser can leak out. No. And. Um, it has uh, small, so this is just a, a digital camera, video camera. Okay. So the, like, you know, the uh, uh, high speed, high uh, speed, uh, high speed, uh, five megapixel video camera. And we are calling it because it's top, it's top camera. There's actually one more uh, small camera inside for the alignment. Like navigating kind of thing, aligning? No, so this is good for visualization. Okay. The, uh, the, the best part about the internal camera is that you can see the uh, you can see the sample and the laser beam at the same time. Oh. So it is helpful for the maintenance. Also, it is helpful to make sure, like, you know, I the think I am, kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, okay. and I think I am hitting that spot. Do I really mm -hmm. hit the spot? Mm -hmm. Is that the, what you can do with this one? Um, obviously, uh, it's inside and to the side to make sure that there is no, you know, light leaking from the laser. You could have a binocular between here and uh, the camera. Mm -hmm. Binocular, so you can have the uh, full-blown, like you know, uh, microscope um, the functionality. Mm -hmm. Now, as you can see, this is a dark field objective. So, dry field, dark field objectives. So, you can do dry field, dark field the microscopy. Uh, the, uh, you can switch back and forth, so you, the, you can do both 
uh, microscopy technologies. Mm -hmm. This is a bright field condenser, uh, but you when you shift when you switch it with a, a dark field condenser, which is a part of the cell, um, then you can do the dark field transmitted light imaging, dark field reflected light imaging, and okay. bright field as well. Okay. Um, because it's a full blown uh, microscope from Olympus, any uh, uh, any Olympus accessories, you know something that's a straightforward you can use. So you can do polarized light microscopy and things like that. So Fluorescence, whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you want to fluorescence, this part, this front, this front part is exchangeable. It's a design by design. Gotcha. So this is a two point and they have a six uh, post position wheel. So you replace a two position uh, uh, switch with mm -hmm. a six position wheel and then you can drop the uh, and, and is that easy to do? Can you like modular p plug and play, or it's the kind of thing where you yes. do so, it? Oh no, okay. I'm, so, I'm sorry. So you want to you want to specify when you order it because we have to couple it. I see. So microscope see. itself is modular, so okay. you could take this one out and put it in. But we have to couple the spectrometer and we have to put the I motorizer. See. Blah okay. blah blah. Okay. So okay. for so, us, so you do it at the start, but then it would be yeah, yeah, used as needed. Yes, yeah. exactly. So that's the. Uh, uh, that's the uh, that's the uh, my, the explorer in nutshell. Mm -hmm. um, the it is, it does have a bottom illuminator. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see it. It does have a bottom illuminator. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. microplastic, um, as far as we can tell, has been using uh, reflected light, so top illumination and observing from the top. Mm -hmm. But um, you could, if when the time, uh, when it is necessary, yeah, yeah. you could use just transmitter light, so illumination from the top and mm -hmm. observing from the, uh, illumination from the bottom, from the bottom and observing from the top. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and, and what are you guys mostly doing when you're training them? Are you guys doing reflectance? Are you guys doing... So for Raman, it's always so reflectance. Those mm -hmm. are so those are functionalities of uh, people who have used the microscope a lot. So so, uh, cell culture people, see, biochemistry see. people, okay. they really like it. Oh, and the, uh, the some people, uh, geologists too. So geo oh, really? Do you like, like well, mica the, uh, samples and different stuff? They do very, very thin uh, section uh, uh, of the geology yeah. samples and then they use it with yeah. transmitted light. Uh, we were surprised too. We always thought you would to be like reflected right, light. Right, right, right. It's awesome like okay, that. Okay, cool, cool. And, and then, uh, and then, when you guys sell, you, it's a, same thing. It's a dedicated computer with it to yes. run the so stuff. So obviously, <laughs> obviously, this part, right? Right, and right, then right. Computer and monitor are the part of the set. Um, the standard is a bright field, uh, but dark field is so dark field is an option. Okay. So. Um, what else? I think that's it. Oh. And, and then, and then, so software libraries and everything are in there. So, so you, you run yeah, this and then you, you process it here. Do you? Have, so one of the things that we're talking about yeah. with uh, FTAR is that um, it makes well, sense to sort of sample, sa use a machine to sample, 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 but maybe do the do the the spectrum library hunting, you know, on so, the computer or after. Yes. So um, the. Our software is all in, uh, so our software is acquisition and processing in one, uh, one package, but what you get is you get five extra and you can install without the acquisition. Extra installs or from additional in total yeah. machine so you, installs. So yeah, 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 right, right. So you get total of six copies. One comes with data acquisition and data processing. Mm -hmm. uh, the five extra copies, you can do it for the data processing. So right. you can uh, install any computer you want. Right. So. Common sense dictates that we recommend that you know you can put in some like a semi uh, public computer uh -huh, or the uh -huh. main operator's computer, uh -huh. and then uh, you can do the processing without having to take up the instrument time. Cool. So we uh, we provide and you have to we provide five extra copies with a system for the data processing. Uh, library is um, the, so software is uh, per copy. So we sell usually one copy with a system. And it's an option, and but then obviously you can buy extra copies of software. Subscription, the database is a subscription based. So BioRed, uh, uh, BioRed has is actively increasing the uh, the volume of the libraries and databases. So you uh, you buy annual subscription so that you can get up to date uh, record uh, from the from their databases as they increase. That subscription, I believe, is you know licensed by license, but I am sure they have I mean, 
we are resellers and collaborators, but so the, the that kind of price and uh, price and license policy come from BioEd, but they are they have been very very reasonable. So they must have. I'm not really uh, intimate about their structure, but I'm sure they have some kind of like you know. Uh, uh, bulk license or right, bulk uh, right, subscription. Right, right, right. So, but that's it. Um, and oh, and the one thing, so this isn't something you, you're going to find Okay, go. Out, out and then trivial. Charlie has to ask you something. But go yeah, ahead. a little bit trivial, but this is insert and uh, of the stage and it is, uh, it is designed to be exchangeable. So this is a standard insert for oh, the microscope. Oh, I see, I see, I see. So you're talking about, you're talking about this little, little yeah. uh, so section. I, um, this would be very uh, useful because you, this is just glass, but you can put filter on it. And Mary and Emily uh -huh, were uh -huh. using this. Uh -huh. okay. So they can just put the filter on it. And, the whole filter. Yeah. yeah, and even if it's wet, because you can just wash them out. Right, so right. even if it's cool. wet or anything. So cool. this is a standard, but I found this one is very useful for the microplastics. Yeah, so. awesome. All right, kid. Well, thank you. And then Charlie.